Welcome back to the Pulse Studios, home of 94.7, the Pulse Community Radio and Pulse Television. Our show is produced by students and volunteers of Diversitat, so if you'd like to be a part of the show or do one of our very, very exciting media courses, check out our website, 947thepulse.com, for more information. Vanished Into Stitches is a new exhibition that has officially opened its doors at the Geelong Wool Museum and will be open until the 7th of December. We sent Cornelius down to discuss this exciting new venture with artist Ruth Marshall. We are here at the National Wool Museum in Geelong with the latest installation, Vanish Into Stitches. Let's go and meet the artist. I'm talking today to Ruth Marshall. Tell us a little bit about this art installation that you've got here at the Wool Museum. Well, it's called Vanished Into Stitches and I'm really happy to have the show here in Geelong. And it really talks about endangered species that we are, you know, that we may lose in the future. So I'm really excited to have people appreciate not only the artwork but hopefully come to an understanding and appreciate appreciation of the animals that I've depicted. Mm -hmm. Now how did it came that you um, start knitting these skins? Uh, I worked at the Bronx Zoo in New York City for 14 years and I really fell in love with the animals there and for many many years that I worked there I was really searching for a way to talk about the animals and also to talk about conservation surrounding animals and um, I rediscovered knitting. I kind of knitted a lot as a child and then um, fell out of the habit as a teenager and then through the lens of my two fine art degrees I saw that knitting was like a really um, incredibly potential tool to talk about the beauty of these animals and uh, say something meaningful about mm -hmm. them. They're all knitted by hand. Uh, because they're really organic shapes and every knitted row is different from the previous row or the mm -hmm. row after, I think uh, it, it's much more suitable to like uh, the concentration of like a hand knitter. Now you're also involved in uh, projects uh, regarding endangered animals and species. Uh, yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm really concerned about the Leadbeater's possum, which is the state emblem of Victoria, and how uh, the central highlands are being clear felled uh, with the old growth forests, and it's affecting a lot of species there who need hollow bearing trees to survive in. And so I'm very um, concerned about this small marsupial and I've uh, joined forces with the friends of Leadbeater possums and also the knitting nanas of Talangi and we've developed a knitting kit where you can knit your own possum mm -hmm. and we've included enough yarn uh, for, uh, for two possums to be knitted and we're hoping to inspire people to knit a second possum and mail it back to the knitting nanas of Talangi for them to use in public awareness and special events that they hold to try and raise awareness and save this uh, incredibly endangered species. This exhibition, when it's finished, will this uh, artwork be up for sale? Or? Yes, my work is for sale. I'm really um, passionate about raising money for conservation efforts, so a percentage from sales uh, go towards um, Panthera, which is a big cat organisation or the Wildlife Conservation Society which uh, has also uh, uh, supported my work in the past so there's plenty of organisations that I'd love to raise money for so yes the works are for sale. We are standing in front of this installation of a uh, skin, a knitted skin of a uh, Russian tiger. Now, Ruth, tell us a little bit how this skin came about uh, that you knitted. Uh, there's a lot of research and everything going into, into the product before you start knitting. Tell us a little bit about that. 
Yes, so uh, this knitted pelt is based on an actual pelt that's in the collection of the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. And they have a whole cupboard of uh, tiger pelts. And I chose this tiger because she had a really luscious, beautiful pelt. There was an expedition that was sanctioned by the museum in 1930 to collect specimens for the museum. And uh, there's no way that a female breeding tiger would be taken like that from the wild today. That would just be outright poaching since tigers are endangered and there's only thought to be 3,200 left. Not only you are into the uh, big cat, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Uh, this is my coral snake series which I completed in 2006 and I had just come off a really difficult detailed cat skin and I wanted to do something that was uh, fun and colourful and I thought initially it would be a lot easier and I knew a little bit about coral snakes how they have really colourful bands and I thought, oh, it would be such a great idea to knit every single species of coral snakes. At the time of the idea, I didn't know exactly how many species there was. So I was actually relieved to find out that there was roughly around 68 or 70. I thought that was doable. So it was a really fun project to do, um, but it still took me six months to complete. Ruth, what can the visitor to this exhibition expect? Well, I want the visitors to know that the pelts are not real. Uh, when people do see my work from a distance, they do get very afraid that they are real and they think it's extremely inappropriate. And uh, I just encourage the visitors to come close and have a little bit of an inspection because they're not real, they are hand knitted and you will go on a little emotional journey sort of understanding what you're looking at, going from realising or thinking that it's real, realising that they're not real and then um, because they're knitted and it has this very crafty, intricate process attached to it, the visitor usually feels that they are then allowed to enjoy the work and uh, think about it a little bit more in depth. Okay, this exhibition is now currently on at the Wool Museum in Geelong. Uh, for how long will it be here? It's really fantastic. I'm so happy that, I'll, that my work will be here for four months. It shows through to the 7th of December and so I really invite people to come down and enjoy the show and, Geelong, and enjoy Geelong and um, thank you.